Yo, smoking politics with me with Giovanni. You heard best studio here, man. Come check it out. Smoking politics with me and Giovanni. You know the vibes. Yeah. 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 Ye
My brother he used to rap, bro. Shout out Tyler, man. He used to rap, bro. I just caught on that when I turned like 16, bro. I first made my first song, bro. Niggas kept telling me, bro, you got some, bro. Like, keep going, bro. I just kept going. I ain't gonna lie, keep the band, bro. Yeah. Feel me? I'm going up. You see me? Right. Um, what's what what song? Uh, besides besides your besides your bro, like, eh, was it a, a like a mainstream artist too? And like, what song was it? And what artist that like? Really stamped it. Besides your brother, you listening and seeing your brother doing the rapping shit. Like right, for me, shout out my son J Dot Geek and my son Lil Tuck, man, Gangsta. They really for me. Shit. So good. All right, so now, right? Tell a little bit about yourself, brother, right here with the microphone. So I started rapping. I ain't really. I mean, nigga, I was, everybody, I, don't know, I was just playing around with it, like, until I got like, I'd say 14, 15, then I really started writing, started writing with the bros, yeah. and it was just having fun in the crib, and then it went to, we getting older, I right, be outside, we getting bread, going to the studio and shit, but right. now we really, Bitch, and then she was making jacket and fire and shit. So, um, I was always into I was always into music though. Like I was always into little boy. I was always into music. yeah. That was gonna you 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 you. Uh, that was the question I was getting at. What what artist was it for you that he was like, yo, this is it, right? I'm I'm doing this. Like a lot. It could be mainstream or it could be like what M Dot said. You know, people you know. You know, what I'm saying personally. I'd say. My son, shout out to my son, Ben. Ben. Because niggas is really going to the stool, just really like playing. Like, we would sit in the crib, listen right. to the beat, but watching niggas from there doing their thing. Right. And they were like, all right, from there, we about to go to the stool, see what's up, go to the stool. Because some shit up niggas be jacking in. Right. Back in and all that shit. Right, right. Um. Now, this is a question I want, I want, I want y'all to answer this, so, you know, I, I, I always ask this, I want everybody's perspective on this. Um, you, you can answer first since you got the mic. Um, when you're done, just pass him the mic in, so he answers. Uh, your thoughts on um, people dissing the dead in their music and just in general on social media, like, what are your thoughts on that, brother? I feel like, I feel like Niggas gonna beef and it's gonna be problems, but once it's blood drawn behind it, it's, it's not gonna end. I feel like niggas is gonna diss, they gonna do that. But I feel like New York is just one of those places where that's the that's one of the main ways to get at your ops. You gotta feel like you gotta diss them, put them in the song, say you smoking on them. But that shit gonna only take you to like, only gonna take you to a certain certain level, they gonna to a certain extent. Don't you believe that the people that do that, like, they always got to really duck when they're outside. They can't enjoy being outside, especially in the summer when everyone's outside. Yeah, because especially if you 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 doing it on the internet, they going to see your face. They see you. It's up. You got to watch. Yeah, you don't you know where it's going to come from. That's a fact. Anytime. Can't be cool laughing. If you go diss somebody, better, better keep better. that. I twenty twenty three. Get money, nigga. Stop for me. That's the that's Just the main money. Goal. Everybody wants to be dissing mm -hmm. and all that, like, but nobody wants to be actually trying to move their mother out the hood, trying mm -hmm. to move their family out the hood to do better things. Or all y'all goofy niggas out there disrespecting y'all moms and shit. I lost my mom, so for me, y'all better be right, moms, bro. man. Good looking, bro. But for me, bro, that shit ain't cute, bro. When she not here, bro, y'all gonna. For me. You know what? I'll, not to cut you off, I want to salute you and I want to shake your hand on camera too because for you to lose your mom and you still right here and, and you're chasing your dreams, I'm a 37 year old man with kids. I don't know if I would be that strong like you. And you're way it's younger. And I'm 18, man. I lost you know my saying? mom when I was 17, man. You're old enough to be my son. I have two daughters your age. Your age. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I salute you, man. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Keep going. Keep going. Because uh, 
Yeah, man. Um, all right, so you done? You done giving your your thought on that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, I'm gonna come back to you with more shit. You know. All right. And uh, your thoughts on that whole thing, man? The, the, this and the dance. Yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead. Philly, bro. All this talking on dead, bro. That shit ain't cool, bro. Stop bitching at people if you don't know them, feel me? Like, bro, you talking on people, bro. You don't even know them from a hole in the wall, bro. That shit, like, feel me? Just get money, bro. A lot of people out here just do all this and that shit, bro. It's real life. Feel me? I'm not going to, but y'all know, feel me? Like, yeah. just get money, bro. What am I on? Thanks. Okay, so now, uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, Doing business with family. I know you fresh, well, both of y'all, you know, you're 18. How old are you? Like 17. 17? Oh, wow, you real fresh. All right. I know y'all are still fresh out here, but still, you, you, I feel like your opinion and your perspective matters too. Like, you guys go through it just like I do. Um, What are your thoughts on doing business with family? Or just anything, you know, it could be anything, just business general, when there's money transaction and all that. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I wanna start my old clothing brand or some shit, bro. For me, Nigga, gotta do some like documentary type of shit. Like, for me, some shit about her, cause niggas, the way we live nowadays, man, niggas just think cause niggas is young, bro. But for me, bro, this lifestyle, bro, living fast, bro, this shit not violent, bro, this shit. We didn't ask for this shit, nigga. For me, we gotta yeah. do what we gotta do, for me, bro. Like, we ain't, for me, y'all know, bro, for me. Facts, facts. Oh, um, what are your thoughts on doing business with family? Like, we can make anything happen. I feel like the people I got around me, the people that I keep around me, it's positive people, creative people, and we got one goal, and that's to be successful and happy. That's it. Nice. But you, you also got to look at it like this. There's some people that's in your family that won't see what you see. Mm -hmm. They disagree with you, and that's why there's a saying that mothers think it, think it in blood, because... I, I never you know, heard it like that. You said mud? Yeah, mud is thinking in blood. Like, that could be y'all line right there. That's a, it's a lot of people. That could be y'all merch right there. <laughs> uh, remember where you heard it first from these two young kings right here. No. Uh, yeah, you keep keep going. Well, you, you have more to say, I cut you off, my bad. Nah, but... Mud is thinking in blood. You can have family that... that that turn on you. That I, bro, I got, I got blood family, bro, that I'm not even close to. I'm close to the niggas. That, I call niggas in the streets family. I fuck with them more than I fuck with real family. Where's my mother like? like Y'all niggas for me, family, bro, is really not, bro. A lot of people, a lot of family, you gotta watch out for them. For me, you, like niggas in the street, bro, bro, you could trust them more than you trust your family. For me, like, yeah. I agree in some cases. Definitely. Um, so now I'm gonna turn this, I'll turn a little, turn the corner real quick. Uh, what are your thoughts on the mayor and the type of job that he's doing? You don't have to answer, but I would always, I always like getting people's perspective, especially the y'all, the youth, because like I say, y'all shit, you matter, you're the future. So I want to know what the hell y'all thinking about a lot of shit. I'm gonna keep it a band with you. I don't be into all the politics. This politician shit. I don't, well, yeah. I don't really know. But I be trying to. I be trying to get into it. But like, in the oh, life I live right now. Shit. Yeah, like, like life, life we live right now. Like I don't got no time. I don't really be having time to be worried about that. Like right. I just need money. And I need to be focused. Like that. All right. Let me ask this. Do you think this has anything you you seen change since the new administration came in? As you think it's still the same, or anything's gotten worse from since the last mayor was in? Have you seen a change? I the really country? don't even know, bro. I be, I be feeling, I be in my own world, bro. Yeah, bro. I, I can't go lie, bro. I just be worried about bread, bro. Yeah. Bro, I don't Very care about anything yeah. else, bro. Feel me? Like, yeah. wake up every day, bro. You, you got to feel me, bro. <laughs> nigga, a lot of niggas just wake up, bro. I don't know how people could just wake up with no money in their pocket and right. don't do nothing about it. Don't get off their ass and feel me? Go chase a bag, bro. Get right. off your ass and go chase a bag, bro. Right. What am I Yeah. I don't understand that neither. <laughs> and then they get they get mad when they don't have nothing or nothing going. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's it don't it don't make sense. 
Um, it's, it is not wrong with working with nine to five. Exactly. It's a fact. There's nothing wrong with them. Never let nobody tell you there's something wrong with These are 17 and 18 year olds telling y'all this. Never Just because niggas young, bro. My mom said, bro, I've been through a lot of shit. Yeah. A lot of niggas don't even know, bro. Niggas gonna be like, damn, I, you ain't been through that. But real life, I really did, y'all. Gangster. Like, you, you gonna work from nine to five, get yourself right, until you do what you actually wanna do. Gangster. Nine to five, I ain't gonna say that's gonna be forever. It's not gonna right. be forever. Because nine times out of ten, you're gonna be doing something that you don't wanna do. You but, doing a nine to five, make sure you're saving that bread. Don't it's a fact. blow your back. Order my money. Because that's the put. That's the, that's the push starter. That's, that's to push you to go Once to the Once you lose level. that job, at least you know you still got bread saved up, bro. Yep. Open you up a bank account, bro. Do something with your life, bro. Yes. Open up a clothing, clothing brand. Do something. Yeah. Open up a barbershop. See, and I'm glad y'all speaking like this because it creates my other question for y'all. What are y'all, what programs would you like to see set in place for the for, for y'all and the people, the, the youth that's under y'all, that's coming up under y'all? Because you know, after school, unless you're gonna work, like y'all do, uh, there's really nothing to do. I want to open up a gym, a basketball gym, and and like a weight gym. It's gonna be both. Yeah. It's gonna be. I'm gonna be selling um, merch there a oh. lot. And you're gonna do it. Yeah, that's a fact. You're gonna Jersey, do it. Y'all sign up. Y'all go come through. It's a lot of camp. Basically, I want to make a camp. Basically, a basketball okay. camp. Cool, man. Right. And you 17 cool. talking like this. Yo, so bro, y'all, yeah. bro, I say M. Dr. Go, don't forget the name, we run the city. Bro, I'm gonna be running the city, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> have a, bro, I'm gonna buy me an island while I'm sleeping, I'm making money. Yes. While I'm taking a shit, I'm making, making bread. Money. <laughs> while I'm eating, I'm making bread. That's what I mean when I'm gonna be running the city, yo. Yeah. Y'all be getting confused, bro. I'm gonna be running the city, bro, in case. Oh. Alright, so. What other program would you like to see set in place? Because you know, not all the youth want to do gym and all that shit. You know, there's there's, there's bookworms, there's tech, there's people that <coughs> into tech, there's people that want to be behind the scenes and want to learn how to manage. Like, like I know a group of young boys that are around your age. There's a lot of rappers, but there's one of them that he wants to be behind the scenes. He's managing them. Mm -hmm. So, would you like to see programs set in place to teach y'all how to learn how to manage and all that? That's a fact. Cause I I'm, I think out the box, but it's it's still a lot of things that I need to learn. I'm still young. Yeah. I'm coming. It's a lot of things. Not to cut you off, you know it's y'all world, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, 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 I know you, it's my world, man. I'm about to take over them. It, it, it's y'all yeah. world. And when I say that, and I feel like where a lot of old heads fuck up at with y'all, that's why y'all look at us a certain way. And, and you have every right to, because I could just imagine being... 18 in 2023 and the old heads is like real sloppy now um I, you gotta learn they, i feel like they have to learn to adapt to this world and and still be themselves but i feel like they get caught up with the jealousy and envy mm -hmm. you feel me they living in the past i mean what what are your thoughts i don't listen to no old dad if you're not telling me something i need to know mm -hmm. like i take in whatever i know that's gonna help me in the future so I won't be stuck and not knowing what to do. If you talk about some other bullshit, I'm blocking all that shit out. You, you heard know. that. Like, it, it's funny you said that because it's not like it's never been happening, but it's more rampant now. That's why I said it goes back to what I said. Y'all really look at old heads like, man, because nowadays, y'all youngins, y'all hold us accountable for what comes out of our mouth and how we conduct ourselves. And a lot of them old heads moving sloppy out here. Then, I'm not even gonna lie, we was, was walking down the block, bro. Like, we walking down the block to old heads, they standing on the block, chilling. We walking down the block. We not even worry about them. We worry about going to the store, we chilling. Nigga, I heard them, they like, oh, these young niggas think they tough. Bro, see, I really see, that, see, bro, bro, yeah, like, yo, we know these old heads like, 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 Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. See what I mean? That's what comes with the jealousy and the envy. You see, it just, I just finished saying that. I just finished saying that. Did you see that old he's head? Old man. He don't know how to adapt to the new world. You feel me? He's still in the past. I just want to, I don't ever want to be a, a used to be a nigga. A bitter, a bitter. Or, yeah, a bitter nigga, used to be nigga, or like, like I can't, like, I don't want to never hate on me. Nobody, no. young and youth, nobody. Especially the youth, because it's the, y'all the future. It's a fact. Y'all gonna hold shit down when we can't do nothing. I can't even shit on our own. We gotta have people wipe our ass. A uh, 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 13 year old <laughs> right now 
a 70 year old right now can be the next years, president. Be the next president. The next you know mean? mayor. Any 10 and 12 years, be the next president. Like, there's a lot of talent. There's a lot of, listen, in this area right here, all over the projects, over, there's a lot of future something. Good and bad. It is what it is. But let's just pray for more good than bad. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, it's funny, now and I want to get your perspective. It's funny what, what you just said. You're walking by and it's old heads like that. Your thoughts, like, you know, because the energy I get from y'all, and I've been around y'all twice now, and just, I'm good with energy. So, That's you guys ain't I don't lie, bro. When you in jail, bro, you jail, bro, it makes you really read energy, bro. Yes. I don't lie, you, you gotta read energy in jail. You go to group homes and anything like That's that. That's why I'm saying, bro, you, for me, you <laughs> read energy. So, energy, bro, you know how niggas, for me, Body you language. look at a nigga energy, you gonna be like, yeah, he on that, for me. Yeah. Like, Feel me, bro. In the eyes. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. You gotta <laughs> feel me like. You can look tough, tight enough, but bro, your eyes will tell the whole story. That's yeah, yeah. Feel me, I like, look at you, bro. I could tell. Yeah. Feel me. Just feel me. I'm I feel different, that, bro, you I, I feel like, you know, this is why, you know, somebody asked me uh, 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 probably a week ago. They're like, damn, you be around some young demons. I'm like, yeah. They're like, yeah, they cool with you. I'm like, you know why? Because they recognize me. I used to be them. And now they see in that I'm out here trying to change the narrative. Why you think they're giving me their time of day? We're all blessed with 24 hours that we're not guaranteed. So you think they're gonna be wasting their time? I'm not just interviewing regular ass young bulls. I'm interviewing motherfuckers. Exactly. Bulls niggas ambitions. is young bro. Niggas is young bro. While we got the time, bro. We out here doing. Take do yes. take advantage, bro. I ain't gonna lie. We young bro. We gotta take advantage, bro. Get a bag, bro. Stop every day. You're wasting. Time, bro, you're just wasting yes. days, is, days is going by, y'all. Like, feel me? And you see how fast 22 Gangsta. went? Yeah, we're bro. already done with January, bro. Gangsta. Dead ass, bro. Yo. Should be crazy. I lost, my mom. I lost my mom's April 28th. RP, RP. Her birthday was just January 10th, bro. It's oh, like, time is be flying, bro. You are. It's like, should be crazy. Time be flying, bro. Um, let, now that brings me to my next question with you. You know, there's a lot of youth out there that lost their moms. What is your advice for them, man? Because you look at, before you talk, right? You could be out here using that as a crutch and be out here going crazy. Not going to work, not being responsible. And you could be on the run. You could be out here really I'm doing nut shit. Go ahead. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. What's your advice for for the youth that lost their moms? It's like I you know, know how I feel, bro. When I first lost my mom, I was bugging out, bro. If it was from if it wasn't for my cousins, bro, and shit like that, bro, I'd be in the jail cell, bro. You got it for me, bro. Mm -hmm. Tighten up, bro. Keep your head high, bro. Everything gonna be good, you know. What are you gonna say, bro? I'm gonna lie. I wanna shout out to this man right here, cause he I get up, tell. he do what he gotta do, tell. like. He don't yeah. depend on nobody. Nah, you could tell, man. You could tell. It's a fact. You, it, you could tell. You, your mom raised you right. Right. Fast. Like, we was all really. It was. It was awful. It was me, my twin brother, mm -hmm. and his brother. Always also, y'all blood. Yeah. Oh, that's always, what's up. Always together. That's what's always. up, man. Blessings, blessings. No wonder you guys are speaking the way it was when you're saying doing business with family, because obviously now it makes sense. Cause a lot of people don't agree with it. I personally don't agree with it because you know, my personal reasons, but it's good to see cause I'm a strong believer in family. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, some people come from family that a lot of families for self, you know what I mean? And I happen to be in one of the, and you know, it's crazy on my mom's side and pop's side, it, it's like that. I'm the outcast black sheep on both sides and I embrace the shit, you know what I mean? It used to bother me, but I use that shit as fuel. But it's good to see because I want that. I want to be close with my cousins. I want to be close with my, my siblings. So I, I like seeing that. That's what's up. Wow. Um, what do you see yourself in five years, individually and as a group? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just see me as a billionaire, just like, yeah. bro, really wild, bro. They gonna be like, nah, that's the richest man, you know? Yeah. I keep it a being, bro. I'm in spirit and in wealth. It's a fact, bro, like, group-wise, nigga, I already know, bro, once I make it, nigga, it's niggas out there that know they gonna be Gucci, bro. Right. He know he gonna be Gucci, I make it. He know, I know I'm gonna be Gucci, he make it, bro. I know, like, a lot of niggas out there, bro, 
they stick around niggas to to they pop and shit, mm -hmm. and they just only they use them. Feel me, bro? Like feel me, but nigga, bro. And fuck these bitches out here, bro. <laughs> Bros old hoes, you know. Yeah. They come and go, bro. Come and go. bro. Don't feed for no bitch. I'm not chasing no bitch, bro. I come later, man. Y'all fresh. It's a fact. Bro. Being when you're 37 and you're retired and doing what the f and like you said, when you're taking a shit, you're making money. When you're it's sleeping, fact. you're making money. Gangsta. Don't be me, man. Playing catch up at 37, bro. Gangsta. Facts. Oh, uh, what you? How about you? You're you individually and as a group. Individually, I just want to be successful. Whatever I'm doing, I want to be able to do it right and be able to inspire. Anybody that's around me, the younger youth, everybody that's on this earth, right. just be successful. Right you just be successful. That's the group. Anybody that's around me gonna be good. That's no question about it. Like right. anybody you see me with, mm -hmm. they good, straight. But they have to be good too, though. That's a, that's a fact, and I was gonna get to that because yeah, everybody that's around me, like I got, I got, I go, I go by morals. Like my little sister. I'm gonna use her as a My little sister, my Shout out to your sister. Thanks, shout out to my little sister. Word, free big bro, man. Free DL, free my big brother, man. Free my the Jansy. So, even if I was to make it, all right, I'm gonna go to town. Don't say if, you're going to. I was to <clears> make <throat> it, right? And then she wanna she, she wanna do something in college, she wanna degree or, yeah. yeah. I don't know what it's, I forgot what it's, it's a, it's a degree where you gotta pay for it, right? Like, what is it doing? Whatever she want to do, she's going to have to work for it. Whatever oh. she want to do. Yeah, I agree. She got to show me she really want it. Put people in position. It. They got to have a hustle. Like, That's they can come with a clothing line, anything. You want to fucking teach me. I want to sit down there and really, we could really talk and be creative and really right. create something. I don't want it to just be that you're supporting everybody, carrying yeah. people, because that's going to cause friction, and you're going to start separating yourself, then people are going to call you the bad guy. That's a fact. I see it all the time on social media with yes. these famous artists. Mm -hmm. All the time. Even with just time. us that we're not even on yet, we go through that's it with petty shit. So imagine with big money's involved. Do you know what I mean? Sheesh. That's why you got to you gotta make sure. That's why I always have conversations with the ones that's close to me. So. Mm -hmm. For any any of the, the shine, the, the glory, the money, we already gonna know what's up. Yeah. We already gonna know that. We're gonna know how to move, we're gonna know how to support each other. Yeah. We don't need all the extra drama and everybody else trying to come in and break up the family. No, there's none of that. What year were y'all born? I was born in 2005. You yeah, born in 2004. Yo, 2004, I was 18 years old, right? And I was fucking living in Henry, Georgia, and I, it was like where the Atlanta Motor Speedway is. I was walking like a mile to go to, I was working at Dairy Queen, bro, make f f $5.25. Then I was like, fuck that, went back to California in 2005, and I was uh, really in the street doing crazy shit, crossing people over the border, all mad shit, bro. So that's crazy, I'm fresh out here. It's just, it blows my mind just to think that. And then the way you guys talk, cause I know niggas my age that are not talking like this. They don't think like this. Mm -hmm. And you're old enough to be their kid. And that's crazy. It goes back to what we were talking about earlier. How little people think it's crazy. All right. Now, my, one of my favorite questions to ask. You're all three top shoes you gotta have when, to save all your clothes gone. And you gotta start fresh. The first top three shoes you always gotta have. Go ahead. I gotta have the white Air Force One. Yes, everybody says that. I gotta agree. have it. I agree. Summertime when it get hot, you gotta have it. Even in the winter, you, you can wear anything. Just... Even even when it's cold outside. Yes. I mean, when it's snowing, it's nasty and all that. No, 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 no. But when it's cold, there's no snow and no light. It's freezing. You could you could pop out with those stairs. You look at frosty, icy. Mm -hmm. right, but second pair. Mm, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Pay it joints. One number though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Oh, oh, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta come back to me. That's uh, right. I ain't oh, gonna lie. Question. You got two more. I, I already know, bro. Of course you gotta keep the ups. That's for a fact. You know okay. Gangsta. The ain't ones. Me. A lot of people don't know ups, so there's ones. Yeah. The white ones. Yeah, people. white up. White ones, bro. That's a fact, bro. 
Always gotta keep those, bro, feel me? I ain't gonna lie, me, you feel me? Gotta keep the 11s, y'all. The 11s, yes. for me? What color, though? Feel me? Probably the Space Jam, yeah, feel me? Yeah, the yeah, Space yeah, Jam, yeah. feel me? Right. Those are the, or the, the red, blacks. the red shit, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. feel me? Like, gangster or, or poly, I either say some threes or some fives, feel me? Gangster. Wow. Oh, All right. So, first is the, the, the white ups. The white ups. Second, I'm going to have to go with You the, said 11s. He said the 11s. I'm going to have to go oh. with the fours because mm. it's just like, with the fours. But what fours? The originals? Actually, the nah, originals, I'm a, I agree, but they ain't not, not, not yeah, mind. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say the originals and the new ones because it's the flavors and it's like when they come out, yeah, yeah, you're right. I like the cream and how they mix the Gucci blend with it, god. Oh. But the third, I'm yeah, the third one, go with um, Tim's. Yeah, exactly. Nah, Tim's too. I keep the band either the black ones or the butters, you are. But Thanks. To that's I crazy you said Tim's because that's in my one of my threes, so in my three, so I got butters in my three. I'm just now starting to fuck with the dunks. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I fuck with the dunks. Bro. Nah, yo, what about my mother? I was <laughs> just saying that the other day, bro. I've been I've been I've been looking at dunks. I'm like at first one, at first one dunks, I'm like, nah, them shit just Yeah, Chop, I used to think so. Me just, too. Feel me? I start seeing them, bro. Then the pandas then I start out. seeing my, pandas. I start seeing my niggas wearing them. I'm looking at them. I'm looking at it. They used to I'm be like, eighty dollars. Yeah, feel me? And so, nigga, when you look at a picture, I ain't gonna lie. When you look at a picture and you look at it in real life, bro, it look better in real life. It look trash in the picture, you are. Bro, feel me? But gangster, bro. When I saw them, I was like, nah. Yeah, I, I was just saying the other day, nigga. Like, nigga, this week, nigga, I'm about to buy me some dunks, you are. Gangster. Yeah. I want that black and white one though, you know, the pants. Yeah. Yo, yo, you said they're 300? Yeah, I went. They I used to be 70, I got these, I got these for 240. Yo, I swear to God. No, I think it was 140, 240. I, I can't remember. Uh, 160, bro. some shit like that. But the pandas, I was trying to get those. I'm sitting 300. I'm like, nah, y'all wild. Crazy. I'm going to get these another time. Y'all wild. But I still came out with some dunks that was fire. Yeah. So That's when I went. I can't be spending that much bread on myself. I got too many damn kids. Uh, uh, what you gonna call it? Yeah, man. Um, what is your uh, advice for the upcoming youth that's uh, chasing what y'all chasing? And that's music, you know, fashion. Cause you heard, you know, earlier you guys were y'all talking about merch, and I know you guys are gonna come out with merch. You have to, might as well. It should be some yeah. no brain. Four right. fifth the label, man. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even know, but I'm gonna keep it a band. I don't even I know. I respect what to say to that. Gangsta. I respect it. I'm just telling you to stay positive. Whatever you wanna do, just go for it. If you feel like that's what you wanna do. That's a fact. Just go for it. Don't ever Chase let your like dream, you. y'all. Mm -hmm. Chase your dream. Anything you wanna do in life, bro, chase your dream, y'all. Like anything you wanna do in life, you could do it, bro. Like Never say can't. My mom, my mom always told me never say can't. Anything you put your mind to, you could do that. My mom always told me that, and I could do anything, you all I could do anything, bro. I could do a backflip, you all gangster. I, I never did a backflip in my life, but I bet you I do. I'm gonna do it, nigga, gangster. Thanks. Thanks. Just stay positive. The negativity, if that's just gonna get you in a deep hole that you don't wanna be in, it's gonna be hard to get Tell them how old you are right now. I'm 17. Exactly, and say what you just said again. The negativity, what? Keep the negativity away from you, it's gonna get you in a deep hole that you don't wanna be in, bro. I'm telling you, bro, you don't wanna be, you don't wanna be on the island. You don't wanna be on the horizon. You don't wanna be booked, bro. Nobody no. is made for jail, but no. for me, I ain't gonna talk, but for me, gangster, bro, y'all. I agree. Trust keep me. Keep your agree. mind, keep your mind on the right path, bro. Don't go down that wrong path and be a dumb nigga like I did. You heard? Like nigga, be young, bro. Go to school, bro. Your mama tell you do something, you do that. You heard, nigga? Cause at the end of the day, your mama was always right. You heard? Yeah. And, 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 and nine times out of ten, always the moms is all is is. Is always there for us. That's a fact. Y'all niggas be thinking y'all moms is bugging, but 
She cares. But I'm telling you, she's the only one that cares. These little niggas out here don't care about you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Who's gonna want to stay up at night crying when you're locked up with that? Bro. Your mom. Thanks, bro. Who's Man, gonna pray for you? I keep it being the day before my mom died, bro. We had an argument, bro. Mm -hmm. I wake up, bro. I ask my sister, where mom is. She said she went to the hospital. She wasn't breathing right. I go, so I go to work for me, bro. I'm at work, bro. Nigga. I called the hospital. I tell my godfather to call the hospital some shit for me, bro. They called it. My godfather called the hospital. They said some shit, bro. Whatever they said, bro. My godfather was like, that's not good, bro. Some people don't make it, bro. I, so I go to the hospital. They said I need a COVID, some shit. I ain't make it. So I go to the block for me. Tell my godfather. I, I, he was like, yo, bro, go there, bro. She ain't make it. I'm like, what? I banged it on him, bro. I was tight, bro, for me. I go there, bro. It was old, bro, for me. Like, I left that they shit. They didn't let you in there? Huh? Yeah, hell yeah, oh, nigga, they let me in there. I'm like, nigga, my mom just died, nigga. You yeah. let me in this all oh, we get it on, nigga. Oh, you're gonna, they're gonna they gonna have to arrest you or shit. Gangsta, man. I was, I, I ain't gonna lie, that that day, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was bugging, bro. I it was, a, it was yeah. a nigga, bro. It was I, I wanna say sorry to that man out there if he watching this, bro. If it was a man, bro, he too. came to me trying to sell me some shit. I punched him. I ain't gonna lie, I punched him, bro. I knocked him out, bro. I ain't knock him out, but he dropped though for me. Yeah. <laughs> he he he's he for, hey, listen, I'm sure he'll forgive you yeah, after this interview fact, if he's seen this whole shit. But for me, yeah. Well that's violent shit. This is only gonna be a fact, fact, bro. Just chase a bag, bro. Fuck the violence, yo. Chase a bag, bro. If you gotta get a one-on-one -on -one with a nigga, yes. get a one-on-one -on -one with a nigga, bro. For me, bro, back in the day, bro, oh, was no chops, yo. Yeah. Get it on, nigga. You get your ass beat, you get your ass beat. And when you get that ass beat, when you get home, you get another ass beat. Nigga, yeah. fuck you too. And I know, I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh, but it's not back in the days. This is a yeah. new generation. That's bro, it. it's too many mothers crying, bro. Yeah. Exactly, bro. It's too many mothers. Bro, it's grandmas. And a lot of grandmothers play the mother L. role. L. These niggas out here, B, y'all niggas be thinking y'all niggas was grown men, bro. These niggas is real like little boys, bro. You heard like. Bro, these niggas is little boys just trying to be down, you heard? Like, nigga, sit your little ass to L. Yo, L. Yo, you gonna get this nigga fucking up. You gonna get this nigga fucking up. Water my mother. Hey, yo, if y'all know what we talking about right now, bro. This is the clip ever watch, I'm sharing right here. If y'all ever watch State Property, make sure y'all make sure you go watch State Property 1 and 2, bro. Yeah, we gonna, know we we gonna, we you gonna, gonna get, you gonna get them fucked up. Yeah, you you, you gonna, gonna get them fucked up. Tell them I'm mobile. What are you talking about? <laughs> but nah, for real, all jokes aside, though, stop the violence, please. Lex. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with y'all, man, because it's not even worth it. Like we were speaking on earlier, like you out there, talking about shit you have nothing to do with and you're dissing the dead and you're just putting a big ass target on yourself you won't be able to enjoy yourself because you're not going to know where the shots come from that's why we be right. seeing brazen videos of people just getting killed and you sometimes think i'm thinking like if you know people nah, are I feel like you got an attack out here though yeah. bro, for me bro because it's a it's a lot of niggas bro you might think it died down for me bro they're like one day you could just be going to the store you could be lacking bro you could be lacking, bro. Every time you walk about the door, you're lacking. Mm. Just you're move lacking. accordingly out here. Exactly, bro. It's like, bro, Especially stay out your way, bro. And stop hating on people. Yeah. And just chase a bag. You know bro. what's more superior you than are. money, than money and everything besides respect and all that shit? Is your face card. That's a you feel me? And when I mean yeah, by man. face card, you're... you're yeah, exactly. You... So if you move right and respect everything around you, respect the land and the natives, this is why I'm able to go everywhere, coast to coast. I'm in here, I'm in Harlem, and I'm not in the suburbs. I'm in the trenches right now with y'all. you all allow me to come here because you know I'm good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas can't come over here, exactly. you heard? Exactly. A lot of niggas can't come to this side, man. Niggas know, man. Um. All right, so let people know where to find you guys at, man. This, I mean, this is a good one, man. This is going to drop. I think there's no way to find me, man. Harlem, Uptown, Upper West Side, man. Social medias, brother. <laughs> oh, I'll find it. Yeah, yeah, Yo, y'all niggas can add me on the gram at M-D-O-T underscore D-A underscore GOAT. I mean, y'all niggas add me on the gram, man. Y'all already know me. All right. That guy me on the gram at E-4- D underscore Zelly. 
That's E. The number four. The letter Bro, D. Bro, that's Z. He said E. He smacked. No, no, I didn't. It's E, the number four, the letter D, underscore Z E L L Y. Any upcoming music y'all coming? Or merch? Hey, yo. Music wise or yeah. music wise, we gonna come with some shit. Hey, yo, we got some shit for y'all, bro. Bro, Everybody want to be dissing and all that. Hey, yo, hold this on, hold on. Real hey, yo, hold up. Shit, hey, yo. Hey, chill, bro. Let me talk. Yo. Hey, yo, bro. We got some shit, bro. I'm telling you, we got some shit for the streets, you know, bro. I'm music. And I got a music video the 17th, bro. When my son D Fly got a music video, bro. 17th, bro. I supposed to have a show the 18th, bro, but. We got some shit, bro. We just made some shit. Let me know when you have a show so I can do the behind the scenes and shit. I'll right, do yes. a day in the life that day. Say that. Say and that. we ended off at the show. All right, bro. Yeah. Say that. Let me know, though, so I could not be busy. I got to meet you. Right, say that. Man. 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., man. Make sure y'all pop out, man, in Brooklyn, man. Where, though? I mean, when? I ain't gonna lie. January 18th, man, at 8 p.m. Where at, bro? In Brooklyn, B. But I don't know so, all so that. The L. fly is gonna come out. The fly. Go to my gram. I posted the fly. Alright, alright. Um, alright, man. This has been episode thirty of Smoking Politics with me, Hood Vlogs. Hood Vlogs are on and changing the narrative every step of the way, man. Uh, everybody, move out there, right? Respect each other, love each other. Make sure you love it for yourself first, because if you don't love yourself, how are you gonna love others accordingly? Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the bell. And be on the lookout, you guys are gonna be seeing more of these young kings right here, man. Peace. Why did she say my name? Put it in, can't leave it with it, yeah. Back to open, nigga, fuck a friend. I've been fucking since I was like 10. I ain't got friends, nigga, I got demons. Every time I'm shot, I ain't playing defense. That jet, that A, sprint through the A, have it to my game. Jimmy Rocky was picking his pace. Who we here with? I'm smoking politics with Joe Bunny, man. I bet. So we lit. Out, man. Yeah. Subscribe, hit the bell, all that. Oh, you know that shit. Uh.